What's up guys, how y'all doing today? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kevin Pack and I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon business owner. Whew, that is a mouthful. So in the recent years, I've been learning about building passive income, building multiple streams of income, and also building long-term wealth as well. And as most of you guys already know, I already have a passive income business. And that's a live refresh for you guys to prove it. But the thing is, I am a man of diversity, okay? So I wanted to diversify the money that was just sitting in my bank, not doing much at all. Seeing that high interest savings accounts in banks aren't really giving that much high interest savings, I figured if I'm only gonna get 1% per year with the money sitting in the bank and the average S&P 500 return is about 10%, uh, I think I could dabble into the stock market a little bit to diversify and hopefully get a better ROI per year rather than the money just sitting in my bank with this 1% interest rate. Even if my stock portfolio was giving me a 2% return per year, it's a lot better than my money that's in the bank that's only gonna give me 1% per year or possibly even less as the time goes on depending on how the economy goes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what stocks I invested into this week, what my results were, and also why I chose these stocks in the first place. As a disclaimer though, I am not a professional stock broker or day trader or financial advisor or anything like that. This is just a fun little hobby that I'm doing and it's just a way for me to diversify my money in the savings account. Now I did base my investments on a few things. One is companies that I trust and I believe in for future growth or growth stocks. Number two are stable dividend stocks. So these are companies that pay a dividend to you every month or year or whatever it is uh, based off of how much you invest into the company. The third one are stocks that are just for funsies that I'm just playing around with. And number four are safe stocks like an index fund for like the S&P 500, which is in my Roth IRA Vanguard account. So I'm gonna save that for a different video and I'm not gonna mention that, but that is one of the stocks that it did invest into. How I decided to buy these stocks were if they were in the red or the negative, and also that that in the last one to five years if they had a higher stock price before or if I saw that the growth was basically going up. So the brokerage account that I'm using is called Webull and if you guys wanna check that out and get two free stocks when you sign up with Webull by depositing 100 bucks, you can go ahead and check that link down below. There's so many other YouTubes doing it but I like Webull just because the interface is really easy to use. I think it's really modern um, and I just really like it. So that's my account so far refresh that so I'm positive today. I'm in the green so far today and this is the last five days. You can see it's been going up. Uh, I have about $6,000 into my stock portfolio so far and about half of that is actually invested into the stock and the other one is just kind of sitting there uh, just on standby just in case I want to buy other stocks. Here are the actual stocks that I have that I bought and the positions that I'm in. So I have five different stocks right here and some of them are in the green and some of them are not. That's just kind of the name of the game. But so far in the past like few days or past week, I've been positive so far, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool just seeing that I was able to invest money and still have some kind of positive gains. So if I sold right now, I'd be positive, but that's not what I want to do. I want to hold these for the long term and the other stocks, some of them I'll kind of like sell or something like that in the short term. But for the most part, most of my stocks that I keep are for long-term gains. So let's go over the stocks that I did buy and kind of like why I bought them. So I'm up $25 so far and that's kind of cool being that it's only been a week. So I mean, that's better than zero. It's better than negative for sure. Um, so one of the first stocks I got into was Alibaba, okay? So ticker name is gonna be B-A-B-A, -B -A, Baba. So I bought these at about $220 per share and I bought five shares of those. And the reason why I bought Alibaba was because if you guys don't already know, Obviously, I'm an Amazon seller, I have an Amazon business, and my business directly works with Alibaba and the Chinese manufacturers out there. So uh, it's definitely a key component to my business and it's helped me grow. And Alibaba is just a huge company on the international side and I, I could see it just growing further and further. And I was actually surprised to see that the stock price was only 220. I only, I mean, I expect it to be closer to Amazon where it's like a thousand. So, but I, I believe that in the future, it could be in the next five, 10 years, be like a thousand dollars per share. So that's why I bought it. The next stock I bought, which is only one because it's a pretty expensive stock is Tesla. Now I do plan to buy more of these when I see more in the red and I'm kind of down on this one. It's in the red now, but I wanna see it kind of go down a little bit more in like the 980s, hopefully in the future, I don't know. But Tesla, obviously I own a Tesla. I mean, I love that car and I believe in Elon Musk a lot. I mean, 
this dude's a great guy. I mean, he's hilarious, genius, and he's very innovative, and he's a game changer. I believe in him, I believe in his products. I think he is gonna be the future, man. I mean, so because of that, he is also, his share of uh, Tesla, his Tesla stock, that one I'm gonna be also holding in the long term, and I'm also gonna be buying more in the future. And I would like to hold like a good amount. I mean, if I can get like at least 10 shares of Tesla stock in the future, that'd be really cool. But I want to be able to hold that in the long term because I believe his stock could be in the 2000s or 3000s in the future. Now, the next stock that I got was uh, called Livongo Health. Okay, so I wanted one that was in the health niche because, I mean, health is, is, is huge and it's going to be always uh, growing and in demand in the future. Uh, and I was looking into the numbers of Livongo and how it was growing. It, it was just like constantly growing. It, I'm going to show you the graph for this one. So you can see in the past three months, Livongo has just been growing. And so I was like, you know what? I think this could be a good, good company to look into. Um, and I looked into their numbers a little bit and um, the potential that they have. I was like, you know what? Let me just buy a few shares and then hopefully I can go green. And I did go green. I mean, I mean, the next few days after I bought it, I went green. And so I'm pretty happy with that. And I think this kind of this uh, this brand can or this company can grow up into the hundreds or whatever because this brand currently or this company is working with people with diabetes and making it easier and cheaper for people with diabetes to be uh, tested and stay healthy with and so um, I mean diabetes is huge in America and I believe that they are revolutionizing the way that treating diabetes goes so I figure you know what let's just dabble a little bit into that and put some money into that and hopefully we could throw some shares. So this one's kind of more in like also long-term growth, but also kind of a stock for funsies that I might sell in the short term. The next stock I bought was AT&T, ticker name T, and I bought 10 shares of those stocks and I bought them about $30. Um, and this one's definitely a long-term stock uh, because I picked this one because this is a long-term dividend stock. So their dividend payout is like 6%. Um, and that's pretty high compared to what I've seen. And I've heard that, uh, or I've seen that AT&T has a long history of paying dividends in the past 30 years. And so I decided I'll go with AT&T. Funny enough, I actually don't have AT&T, I have T-Mobile. But because their dividend percentage was really high, I was like, you know what, let's go for it. The last stock that I got into is US Bank, okay, or ticker name USB. I bought eight shares of this and I bought this at $36 per share and now it's worth 38, so I'm positive on this one. Pretty happy about this one because I got this one uh, from a video that I saw from Charlie Chang and I'll link his YouTube video or whatever. Um, but he recommended getting this stock, so I hopped on it as soon as he said it. And then ever since then, I've always been positive with this one. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this this one. So overall, out of my five stocks that I've invested to, three of them are positive and two of them are in the negative. So you can see those numbers there. Those are how much I bought them for and how much they're worth now. So is this where I'm gonna be transferring all of my money into? No, obviously not. I've only put a few thousand dollars into the stock portfolio, but it's something I'm gonna grow over time because I wanna diversify my money. You know, I have my emergency savings fund, I have my normal savings, and then I just had a lot of extra money that I just kinda of wanted to dabble with. So I was like, you know what, let's just throw it into the stock market and get some gains out of it. Um, and so this is kind of what happened in the first week and I think it's kind of cool It's a new hobby that I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get into and kind of learn through a little bit more So I've been doing a lot more research stocks seem to be like kind of a hot thing right now. So I don't see um, too much risk into it as far as like as long as you're only putting in money that you're willing to lose and not see for a long time so i'm i'm only putting money that i'm comfortable with losing or or anything like that so don't go out there putting all your savings into it i don't recommend that i probably i wouldn't do that so only dabble with the money that you are willing to lose and afford because stock market can be a gamble nobody knows it's going up down or anything like that is it, whenever it happens it just happens okay so that's my experience with the stock market and my stock portfolio. And I'll be doing more videos to kind of update you guys and see like how I'm doing and you know, if I'm positive or if I bought more stocks or anything like that. But honestly, I'm a total noob and I have no idea what I'm doing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was entertaining and helpful. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe as well for more content. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, go make that money. Peace.